Dex Tannehill near lane. Chris Hovener in the far lane. Hovener first out, 424 to a 449. Tannehill overcomes it, an 821 win to an 834 lose. And a pro stock. Quarterfinals, round two. Lance Boyer against John Myers. John, the number one qualifier, should handily beat Boyer. Reaction time best for Boyer by a hair, 482 to a 48. And it's a win for Myers, 785 to an 829. Ron Ayers against Dave Schultz, number one qualifier, Schultz against Ayers, the number seven qualifier. Schultz favored very strongly here. Schultz first out of the gate. 486 to a 633 leave for Ayers. A lot of tire spin. Schultz the winner, 819 to a 1083. Keith Gray and Jim Bernard. Gray favored. Gray with the quickest leave, a 497 reaction time to a 561. Bernard overtakes him and wins with a 796 to an 823. Paul Gast against Benny Mins. Paul Gast had the quickest reaction time in the previous round against Russ Olmstead. Benny Mins would have red lights. The previous round had a red light for Paul Gast. Paul red lights and crosses the center line. Benny Mins would have red lighted, but since first is worst, Gas is already out of it. Benny Mins had a 393 reaction time. He gets the win, even though he would have red lighted had he red lighted first. And broke off. Second round quarterfinals in the world finals at the New Atlanta Dragway. Thad Wilts against Ron Hanyati. Number one qualifying is number five. The best lead is for Thad Wilts. 568 to 573 at the finish. It is Wilts the winner. Bill Hahn Jr. against Neil Lane. Here it goes with Bill Hahn, number three qualifier. Neil Lane, the number 15 qualifier. Reaction time best for Neil Lane, a 468 to a 542. And at the finish, it is Lane the winner. 765, 814 for Reggie Showers now through forward now. Gone. The tree hasn't come down. Showers waits on it. It's Showers win at the starting line because Alton Ford left without a tree. And it was a proper reaction time for Reggie Showers at the 562. Showers gets a win at a 774. Dennis Strickland and Wayne Elkins. Number four qualifier Dennis Strickland should be your winner theoretically. He's got a better reaction time, 471 to a 513 for Wayne Elkins. And Strickland is your winner, 774. Second round quarterfinals in, Funny Mike. First bear out, number one qualifier, Dwayne Carlock against champion Steve Drake. Carlock out of the gate first, 5'11", well, 548. Carlock at mid-track. Carlock at the finish by a hair, a 751 to a 758. Multi-champion Terry Kaiser in the far lane on the Orient Express racing machine against Clark Sargent. Sargent's first out of the gate, 536 to a 674 reaction time. Horsepower does it at the top end. Terry Kaiser is the winner. 728 to an 886. Tony Lang, the number two qualifier against Chris Iovine. Iovine broke out of the line, and it's Lang for the win. It's a 718 for Tony Lang.
David Britt, Sean Garrigan. Garrigan, number nine qualifier. Britt, the number 13 qualifier. Best reaction time for Garrigan. 536 to a 644. And a win for Sean Garrigan. Super Gas going back to the 990 index. Heads up class. He's Rick McQuarters and Damian Hill. And your winner is McQuarters. He's got a 976 to a 1012. Real disappointment for Hill. The other half of the semifinals, Samuel Gordon against Ron Piazzantini. Better lane for Gordon. He had a 497 to Piazzantini's 507. Gordon at the finish, a 1017 to a 1019 for Piazzantini. Pro Gas, the 920 class. Heads up, semifinals. Tom Galligan against Roger Shyrock. Galligan out of the gate first. 490 to a 512 reaction time. Galligan the win by a little over half second. Bruce Sauer against Tony Parsons. Parsons the champion and Hart. Sauer chops the three down too quickly. Red lights with 357 thousandths against a good 5-11 lead for Parsons. And Parsons is your winner, of course, because of the red light reaction time. And a supercar. That's the 860 index. Heads up class. Semifinals again. Rick Poole against Greg Barrett. Best reaction time for Barrett, 4.30 to a 4.39. Only nine thousandths difference. Your winner is Barrett. And Barrett's got it locked up. Super Comp champion, he's on his way to a number one plate, no matter what happens in the rest of this race. Johnny Wyatt, Bob Pellegrino. Three down the short rows. Two quick lead for Wyatt at 3.76. 400 is uh, the best he can turn. He's red lighted to 526 for Pellegrino and win for Pellegrino at an 881. Semifinals and top guess. 820, the heads up index for the class. Steve Sanders and Nemo Marciano. Marciano couldn't stand it. Red lighted by, oh, 4,400,000. Terrible red light. Sanders, you winner. <laughs> Jamie Hammonds and Dex Tannehill. Tannehill from Birmingham, Alabama. Hammonds gets the tree. A 626 to a 6. 49 reaction time for Tannehill. But Tannehill is your winner with an 822 against an 840 run. And we go into pro stop. Semifinals, Dave Schultz against John Myers. Most of the spectators would have preferred this to be the final round instead of the semifinal round. Hey, it's all over between those two. Dave Schultz, a 469 reaction time, and John Myers, a 495 reaction time. But your winner is Mr. Myers with a 782 against a 786 for Schultz. Jim Bernard now and Benny Mann. The Jet in the near lane, Bernard in the far lane. Red light for men. It's Bernard's run. But I gets it on time too, a 792 against an 820.
Semifinals in Pro Cup. We call it the 750 class sometimes. That's what it's designed to be. Wilts and Lane. Not 750, 746 for Wilts to win over Lane. Reigning champion Reggie Showers against Dennis Strickland. Strickland has the advantage at the World Finals. Strickland first out of the gate. Five reaction time. Point five against a point five fourteen for Showers. Showers overcame him at the top end. A seven seventy one against a seven seventy seven elapsed time. Semifinals in Funny Bike now. Dwayne Carlock and Terry Kaiser. Carlock near lane. Kaiser far lane. Oh, this is important to Carlock. He wants to beat that multi champion. It's a red light. Dwayne Carlock turned himself a 363 on a 4 tenths tree. Terry Kaiser, your automatic winner. 728 for Kaiser. His reaction time of 536. Tony Lang now. Tony is the number two qualifier against Sean Garrigan. Garrigan, number nine qualifier, trying to catch a triple on the high side. It's Tony Lang out of the gate first to 5-4 ORT against a 5-4-7. Only seven thousandths difference at the finish line. It's Lang the winner. Look at that, a 7-18 to win. He also had a 7-18 in the previous round. Lang has got it dialed in like a bracket bike. And he's ready for the next round. Now the final ride. E to the bracket. Johnny Harris dialed in on a 10.30 against Michael Smith, dialed in on a 12.42. Of course, the higher dial-in gets the first leave at the finish line. Looks like the left lane will be there first. Andy is with a 12.48 win on the 12.42 dial-in to a 10.29 lose for Johnny Harris. Smith, your winner. The final in Super Eliminator now. The handicapped Sportsman Eliminator started with 26 bikes, down to two. Uncle Bob Jones and nephew James Rester. Actually, that's not the right situation. Both these guys about the same age, in their 40s, to be honest. Best reaction time for Rester at the finish line. Jones is your winner with a 10-10 against a 12.52 for James Reston to take.